So I've got Iron Man VR on PS4 uh, VR, obviously. Uh, but I'm not going to be talking about it today. Today I'm talking about a completely different game. Uh, and, um, well, I'll, I'll have a review for you next week. So if you want to see what I think of the full game, tune in next week. Welcome to the Bears Den. My name is Codename Big Bear or Stuart if you want to call me by my first name. Today we are talking about Aircraft Evolution. Um, is a, mm, I have some mixed feelings about this game. Uh, but before obviously we get on to that, let's do what we normally do. So guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, uh, hit your notifications down below and all that. All your links are here. Um, just do that for us, that'd be really cool. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> uh, back to normal. So, Aircraft Evolution. Uh, this is an interesting game. So, uh, if you once you look at it straight away, once you see some of the gameplay, uh, you will probably have the same initial thought I did, that this is a mobile game that has been adapted to Switch, which yeah, I can't find it on uh, my Play Store, so I'm not sure if that is the case. In fact, I think there are just a few more controls in it that are, you know, make that impossible to do so. But essentially, you would play a small airplane. Gliding his way across the uh, ground, across the sky, and he's got tasks to do. So you got to destroy all the units, you got to destroy the buildings. Sometimes you just got to get to the end of the level. Other times you got to just collect everything so you get all your bonuses. You have a minute to do so. Um, other ones you got to destroy a specific target. Yeah, there's loads of stuff going on here as well. And you have these like rings that kind of take you through levels, ten levels for each ring, which is a different era of time. The first plane you start off with is very much uh, like the Wright Brothers plane. You know, one of the old, the old wooden ones, and you're just dropping bombs. It's quite slow; it doesn't really move all that well. But you can upgrade, which is quite cool. Yeah, obviously, this is like a leveling system that you can have. You get these points, experience points. They're kind of like a green coin, and you spend those on extra bombs, on repair kits, on uh, upgrading your speed, your maneuverability. Um, <laughs> if you've got a, if you've got a plane that has lack of armor, you can upgrade the armor. You can really build upon these crafts as much as you possibly can uh, using those points going forward. So, how do you earn those points? Well, you've just got to play the game, essentially. You've got to play the game and continue doing the task at hand. Uh, either taking out lots of bad guys, surviving for a certain amount of time. These little, loads of little factors kind of go into it. Um, <clears throat> The problem I have with this, uh, well, actually, I don't really have a problem with the actual gameplay itself. You know, you, you can sometimes get past it. But the problem I do have with the game itself is everything is, uh, everything is nice. The, 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 the airplanes themselves are really cool models, but they are so small. Like, I can barely see what's going on on the screen. I can't see the design of my aircraft, even though when you purchase it, you can change the colours. And you can have flames on it, you can have a different colour, you know, uh, Spitfire or a different colour biplane, whatever it is. Uh, but you can really barely see it once you actually start playing the game. Um, so for me, that, that was a bit of an annoyance. But also on top of that as well, the only bullets you can see, really see, are the cannon fire. So from the tanks and from the big cannons that are on the grounds, uh, you can see large bullets coming towards you. So you can dodge them easy enough, but you've also got handheld guns from the from the inventory inventory um inventory i don't know any military terms from the troops from the troops on the ground um and uh they're shooting at you you can just not see where they are so you can always do it but they're always kind of plucking away at your health uh, which you can repair whilst you're flying around, which is cool. And obviously, you've got a fuel gauge as well. Same thing, you can repair that as well. But if you've run out of stuff, well, <laughs> you've got to survive and do your best. And that can be very, very difficult with these games. Now, I haven't got amazingly far in this game. I've got for, to, to a couple of eras in. Um, and that's quite cool as well. You do, Doing that is quite... Yeah, uh, you because know, you start off with the eras. So you've got the old, um, the old cannon that you can get uh, on the Monopoly board. I don't know if anyone remembers the cannon on the Monopoly board, the big wheel thing going on. That's just there on the screen the entire time shooting you. Uh, but that also upgrades the next era where it's kind of definitely more of a modern style cannon. You know, things you see in uh, um, like Navy, well, so not just Navy, sorry, but war films these days that you watch, you can see like a, a more traditional looking or even futuristic style cannon. And again, your planes also increase as well. So eventually, I believe you can get to a stealth bomber, which would be awesome, but I can imagine that's a lot of grinding to do. 
Uh, and that's, that's, that's one of the key aspects of this game. It is grinding. I mean, I've played for hours at a time. I've played for a couple of hours just kind of getting my bearings of this game. And I found myself just on the same level over and over again, just doing what I can to get through it. You know, there was one where I had to destroy buildings and there was just tons of buildings everywhere, but also tons of like fire coming at you, not fire, but bullets and stuff coming at you. And that was, uh, that was, a uh, that, that was boring. <laughs> If, uh, if I was to say, to say the least. Um, <clears throat> now, obviously, uh, with a game that is based on your aircraft, you know, you, you have to upgrade that as much as you can. And having all these bullets kind of fly at you all the time, you're grinding your way through the same level, takes away a bit of the fun that you could be having. There's some really cool animations of the plane turning around, you know, it's kind of does all this. And that's all nice to do, but when you're looking at the same level on the same basic level every single time, uh, it gets really quite uh, repetitive, at least for me, I, I found so anyway. Again, this level that I was stuck on where it was to just destroy all the buildings, I was stuck there for ages and eventually I just kind of wrapped up all my green points and I bought a ton of cluster, cluster bombs and then I flew to above the screen, like, like there's me, like up there. Um, I flew to above the screen and I was just kind of hovering up in one place and just dropping tons of bombs on it just while I was dodging a few bullets here and there and it became very very easy but that's because I bought a hundred cluster bombs so you know it's one of those and then that's bonus level as well they gave me like this large napalm super bombs uh, that was able to destroy a boss that was coming up to on level 10 and it was just so easy but I, again, obviously this game is going to get harder as it go, goes along as well. But like you can kind of spam a few things here and there as well. Um, and if you are just paying attention to your repair gauge and you've got that, and you can just annihilate uh, a building very easily with a cluster bomb. You do have regular bombs, obviously, as well, um, <clears throat> which is fine. They're just not very powerful and they take a while. And builders do just, you know, you get a direct hit on a watchtower, like with a bomb. It doesn't fall over straight away. It just doesn't make any sense. Like a, a watchtower has the same amount of uh, yeah, health as a, a barracks, and it just you take forever just chipping away at this bomb. Like I say, if you got cluster, you just ram them full and just do do all sorts of cool stuff. I threw napalm down at one point, and yes, the fire was happening, but the fire wasn't chipping away at the health. It was just killing the inventory, which again, you know, if this is in the first era, if you got watchtowers probably made of wood, napalm's gonna burn that away you know it's just, just tiny little niggly little things like that which just kind of really really annoyed me whilst playing this game the whole presentation of this game is really quite it works really well for what it is like i said you are basically on a, on a longish level and you've got to fly through do you think uh, you can see the, inv the, the not inventory <sighs> you can see the troops at the bottom running around doing a thing at the tanks coming as well but sometimes it's really hard to spot them. Like they might be in front of a building, you, you can't see them at all, but you're throwing down a bomb and it hits the top of the building rather than the floor where you're trying to get the bad guys. And blah, 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 blah. It's just, um, overall, <laughs> I, I wasn't a big fan of this game. There was an issue I was having though, and it happened frequently throughout. And that was when um, the camera for the game was stuck in a bottom left out of bounds area. I, I'll put it on the screen so you understand what I mean. This kind of thing happened often, uh, and it was really annoying. Now, obviously, I do appreciate that I am on a, a pre-order version of the Switch Switch version, but as far as I know, this game has been out on other consoles for a little while. Um, and yeah, and it's pre-order. It, it may get fixed. I don't know. Uh, and if it does get fixed, brilliant. Yeah, that would be really amazing. But I just found myself constantly just having to die, just to reload the level uh, and go again. I mean, that did rank up, uh, rack up a few experience points every now and again depending on uh, what you were doing, but either way, a game shouldn't have to kind of deal with that. Uh, especially a game that looks as simple as this does. Now, I do appreciate there's tons and tons and tons of levels. There's there's quite a lot here. You know, just on your first screen, there's 30 to deal with, and I, I know that's going to go on to more and more as it goes as well. Um, but I didn't complete that for those first three. I just found it very difficult to, and just get rep too repetitive and too boring. Uh, yeah. You might think the same about this review. I think I've said that a few times already. Um, and that glitch was uh, an absolute deal breaker. I just I just wasn't in. As soon as that started happening, and it happened as regularly as it did, I just didn't want to play this game anymore. But again, like I said, I powered through, did as much as I could. Um, but I mean, overall, this game is, is very average. Uh, uh, 
I'm probably just the wrong person to play this game. This isn't the kind of game I enjoy. You know, I don't really enjoy kind of uh, uh, a little back and forth 2D shooter type thing. Oh, that's a lie. I love 2D shooters. But this is just an odd game. It just feels so much like a mobile game. And it feels like uh, those kind of loot boxes and crates could easily be implemented into this game. Uh, and the fact they're not there is great. That's a fantastic thing. I love the fact that that, that, that isn't a thing in this. Um, but the overall gameplay is just a bit like, what? And the graphics, the fact that you're supposed to be these really cool planes that you can see. Uh, and you're just too far away to even really know what they are. I mean, you go past biplanes, you can see a bike through a biplane. You can see some tiny details. But one of the planes I was using had like silver with red flames on it. And it looked really cool and I just couldn't see it and it really, really just irked me. It got me in so the wrong place. Um, the missions themselves are very simple, but you can find yourself repeating over and over again, uh, having to do the same levels over and over again. That big glitch that happens. Yeah, I, I just wasn't happy with this game. Uh, and I think it might have been because, you know, I've been playing uh, different style games entirely uh, for the most part. So this might not be, uh, might not be a fair review. Uh, and, and I think personally, I, personally, I just want to give it like a three. Um, I just didn't enjoy it at all. I didn't really have fun with this game. And yeah, you can see that, see for yourself, you can see this might be the game you enjoy. And if that's the case, if you like this kind of game, uh, you know, when it's got, you know, side scrolling shoot, but using a plane, you've got to kind of hit your targets. Um, which is very satisfying, by the way. When you, you get a bomb, like, you planes here, and you fly a bomb here, and it lands on... When you land a bomb and you're traveling at a distance, it's satisfying to get that. But again, this just really isn't something for me. Uh, so personally, it's like a three out of 10. But I've got to think critically. I've got to think about how this game works and how it functions and stuff. Um, and overall, you know, would somebody enjoy this? And yes, that is the case, people would enjoy it. But still, with that game breaking bug and the fact that the art design is really cool but minuscule, um, it's gonna be an it's gonna be a five out of ten. This game. Uh, this is the lowest game I've scored so far, and I, I find that I find that's really kind of harsh. But uh, you know, it's a it's a pick up and play game. You can pick it up, play it for five minutes, put it down again. And I love games like that, as you as you may know, you may remember my uh, reviews of Ghostcraft Three Thousand and Singled Out. I absolutely love that. I still play those to even today, and they're more fun because there's a strategy with it. And at least I found those strategy, even though it's very repetitive as well. It's way more fun and way more interactive and you can see all the artwork and stuff. And that's kind of why that I gave those games an 8 and I'm giving this game a 5 because you can't really see what's going on. And this game breaking bug is there and the fact it's just a grind fest and I'm not a big fan of grinding. Uh, yeah, so I think I've over explained uh, why. Um, why I don't like it and again I've repeated myself several times. Uh, for that I apologise. Um, but... <clears throat> But like I said, guys, this is a 5 out of 10 game. Um, not, the, not the most amazing game. <laughs> so, guys, that was Aircraft Evolution. Um, yeah, one of those. I'm not a huge fan uh, myself, but I'm not going to take that away from this game. You know, somebody might uh, somebody might enjoy it out there. Uh, don't forget to check out um, uh, the Lightning Cave and any of our videos that we have here on YouTube. There's over 570. I believe it's going to be hitting 600 very, very soon. And hit that like, share, and subscribe button as always. But guys, don't forget to be nice to each other, yeah?